Okay, then here. For example, if beam of light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. So what I am taking? Refracted is mu one I am taking. Refracted is mu two I am taking. So yes, beam of light is traveling from first medium to second medium. So what I am taking? Mu one two. What is mu one two? Refractive index of the this what we are taking? Mu two by mu one two. Refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium. What is meaning? What is mu one two? Beam of light traveling from one medium to another medium, first medium to second medium. So this you write as mu two by mu one. Similarly, here reverse traveling. This is a mu one, and it is traveling mu two. This I am taking as rarer medium, and this I am taking as denser medium. So this is a denser to rarer is moving away. Rarer to denser means towards now. So this is mu one, this is mu two. So okay, mu one as it is, you take because for comparison purpose. This mu one I am taking as it is. This I am taking as mu two as well as it is. But this one I am taking reverse. Denser medium going to here. This is rarer medium and this is denser medium. This one I am taking rarer medium. This one I am taking denser medium. Due to rare medium, due to denser medium. Here, what I am doing reverse way. What is this meaning? Refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium. But what about this meaning? Refractive index of the denser medium with respect to rare medium. Reverse that. How many times I am doing mu two to one? Here, what I am doing? Mu one I am taking from. Rarer to denser. Then what happens? Actually, this is the path moves towards the north. That means we know this is the I and this is the R. So if you find mu two one, what are we doing? Mu one by mu two. Mu one by mu two. So this is called relative refractive index. What is name? Relative refractive index. What is the meaning of relative refractive index? Refractive index of the second medium. With respect to first medium, we are going to be traveling from first medium to second medium time. What we are taking refractive index of second medium time with respect to first medium. Then third part, relative refractive index. What is the absolute? We are comparing all refractive indexes with respect to A's or X. Then third part, absolute. This is third part, relative refractive index. So in this way, you do what we are getting mu one two equals to one by mu two one. This is called Principle of reversibility. What is name? Principle of reversibility. So this is about the attraction sense of excess. Some topics again there. Well, this I am taking as water. Here I am keeping on point. We are observing from A. What is this A? What the refractive index of the A is one. Refractive index of the what one I am taking mu. Okay, no? Actually, this is the position of the point, but it is appearing to here to ours. Okay, no? When we are observing vertically, what I am saying? This is the actual position appearing to here. So, what is this? This is called real length. And what is this? Apparent length. When we are observing from here. So, what is the edge on? Real depth. What is the edge? Apparent depth. So when we are observing, if observer is in the air at that time, if refractive index of the water is mu, water or glass is in denser medium, but this must be a. At that time, what is the formula for refractive index? We are writing one formula. Mu equals to real depth. By apparent depth, real depth by apparent depth. So this is the formula for finding refractive index of the denser medium. For example, observer reverse. Observer only in the glass or water. Observing the image. 
For example, one fish is in the water observing one bird which is flying in the sky. Who is the observer? Fish. Who is the sorry? Who is the observer? Fish. Object what? Flying. Flying. What is the flying? What is the object? Then what happens? What is it? For example, this is what. This is water. This is the air. So here one bird flying like this. What is the reason here once? For example, this is observing. Where is observing? From bottom, here observe, here observe, here observe. Anywhere you observe, considering height from surface. That is very important. The fish is here, here, here. Anywhere also. Height considering from the surface only, inner face surface only. So what is this? Height of the object. So this is called what? Real. Real height. It is appearing here. What is the height of the apparent height? So this one, this is the real height and this is apparent height. In the water, depth. In this one, taking height. Okay, na? What is the H R? Real height. And what is the H M? This is called apparent height. So in this case, what happening? When observer is in the air, when he is observing, moving towards the observer. He may observe. He may be moving towards the observer. But here, what happening? He is observer. He is very very coming away from the observer. Reverse happening because changes. Observer position changes. So in this case, the view also changes. But the formula for view is not not reading view. One by view ready. Same formula. What is this? Real height. By apparent height. So this we are using in the case of refractive index. Is it clear? For example, this is the object position here shifted. This is part one shift. This is called vertical shift. What is the name? Vertical shift. So here. What is the delta D vertical shift? For example, the species I am taking T. So vertical shift. Vertical shift. The delta D that equals to T into one minus one by mu. This formula you remember. What is the D thickness? Thickness means object weight in the different medium. That will equal to surface volume. That is the thickness. What is the mu? Refractive index. Then delta D equal to T into one minus one by mu. That is the shift. Similarly, for example, your beam of light traveling from rare medium to denser medium, like glass plate I am taking. For example, this is the beam of light incident here. What is this? This is the A. Here you take one normal. When beam of light is traveling from rare medium to denser medium, what happens? It moves towards the normal. Towards the normal. How does what happening? Is the glass. So in the glass state there only. When medium changing, there only refraction creating. Remember this. When medium changing, there only refraction creating. Along the normal, if any beam of light going, no refraction. What are the no refraction conditions? Beam of light traveling in the same medium, no refraction. Beam of light traveling in another normal, no refraction. These are the two conditions for no refraction conditions. You know, so here what is this angle of incidence I? What is this angle of refraction R? So here again you take another normal. Again it is traveling from glass to air. What happens? It moves away from the normal. This actual point. Again it is not. So you take it to O. This is A. This is B. This is C. Here O A and O C are parallel. Incident ray, emergent ray. What is the same O A? O A means incident ray. What is the A B? Refracted ray. Similarly, what is the B C? Emergent ray. So O A and B C parallel in this case. Now. 
this is the actual position of the incident plane and this is the emergent position. So you take this is the D. So here B is the horizontal surface. But the B is horizontal surface. So how we are finding this? B is called horizontal surface. So how we are finding BD? This angle we know R. So we apply sign here. This is 90 degrees. So what is this AB? AB is the travel distance. So which travel? Light versus travel distance. Again this is the normal. And this is the thickness. From applying uh, how much angle we need and sign theta. So sign R. So what is the form of a sign theta? If this is 90, I put it in. This is the angle opposite side. What is this? BD. BD by AB. BD value, if we know what we are finding, AB value. What is the AB value? AB is called distance travelled by the light waves in the denser medium. What is that? AB. In this condition, R value, if you know, BD value, if you know, what we are finding, AB value. What is the AB? Refracted rays travelled distance in the glass. This is one process for finding distance travelled in the glass. Now we are discussing about this critical angle. What is the critical angle? So in this case, we know that it is travelling from denser medium to rarer medium. For example, this I am taking as glass. This I am taking as A. We know that it is travelling from glass to A. We know that it is very they will get for normal. What is this? Angle of interest. Generally, what happens is that we know that it is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. It moves away from the normal. This is happening. Now, what I am doing? I am increasing the angle of interest. At a particular angle of interest, what happens? At a particular angle of interest, that is called critical angle. C means critical angle. I see. What happens? Refracted rate grazing the inner surface. What is this? Glass. What is this? A. This is the surface. Grazing is tangentially. Tangent is called what? Grazing. At that time, what about angle of refraction? It becomes 90 degrees. For which angle of incidence? Angle of refraction becoming 90 degrees. The particular angle of incidence is called critical angle. So, A refracted is 1. Refractive index of glass I am taking as mu. Now, now I am applying Snell's law. So according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, what we are writing? Mu1 sin theta 1 equals to mu2 sin theta 2. Now we apply what is the mu1? Refractive index of the glass mu. What is the theta 1 sin c? We are I am taking as c. What is the mu to 1? Different units of the A. What is the sine theta? Sine 90 degrees. And what happens? Mu into sine C. That is equal to 1 into 1. Then I am taking 1. Now what about mu? 1 by sine C. This is the relation between critical angle and refractive units of the medium. In this case, rarer medium must be A. Then only this value can. Otherwise, again you apply sense law. Sense law is ultimate formula for applying any case. This is only for limited conditions. What are the conditions? Rare medium must be a B magnet must be traveling from tensor medium. Then only you apply this V equal over by sense C. V equal over by sense C always not possible to applicable. Not applicable. This is always applicable. So from this basic formula only we have got this. Uh, we have got this thing. What is this thing? Critical angle. Total internal reflection. Total internal reflection. What is the total internal reflection? Here beam of light traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. This is the denser medium. And this is the rarer medium. Beam of light traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. Here I am creating one normal. What is this angle of incidence? If the angle of incidence is slightly more than the critical angle, hold up more value, slightly more than the critical angle, and at the time, 
is below line, not entering to rare medium, again coming back to same medium. This is called TIR. TIR is what? Total internal reflection. Beam of red must travel from tensile medium to rare medium. Rare medium is known in always A. When we are taken to the equal to 1 by sin C, in the formula case only A. Beam of red take it travels from any medium to another medium. Here I am creating glass. Here I am keeping water. What happens? Glass becomes a tensile medium. Water becomes a rare medium. Understood now? So, no need of A always. So, when a beam of red is travelling from tensile medium to rare medium, if the angle of incidence is slightly more than the critical angle, it will not enter into rare medium. Coming back to same medium, the third part, TIR, total internal reflection. Total internal reflection, like example, is diamond glittering always. Why inside the beam of red not possible to escape from the diamond? Because refractive index of the diamond is very high value, 2.6. What is the refractive index of the diamond? 2.6. But the critical angle is very small value. So when it is manufactured naturally, that is always at the time somewhere inside that. That is not possible to escape. Inside only always reflection is creating. You can always be there. Again, it is odd. It is also very more in the nature compared to every material. So that is not our topic. Our topic is total internal reflection. Why it is glittering always? So that is called total internal reflection. This technique we are using in the optical fibers. What is the name? Optical fibers. So in this case, 0% loss of energy. How much energy? 0% loss of energy. Due to this only we are using this in the communication systems. Cables. Telecommunication cables. Media cables. Internet cables. Every cable. What possible? Electromagnetic signal possible. That must be clear. There is no loss of energy. So what are the optical fibers using? What about optical fibers? Optical fibers also made by two materials. For example, this is inner core and this is the outer core. And here what we are keeping some sheets. What is the importance of sheet? The sheet is protecting layer. It is protecting portal layers. So this is inner layer. This is inner layer and this two are outer layers. For example, if it is 1.5, I am keeping as 1.4. Both are made by glass only. The glass also reflects it is changing from medium glass to glass, crown glass, print glass, normal glass, give and glass. So like that, uh, artificially creating reflective index change. So this is the tensile medium and this is rare medium. Artificially creating. Both are again glass only. Like it. So here we are sending one beam of light. How it is? It is slightly more than the critical angle. What happens? Coming back. Again like this. What happens in this way? In the reflected way, what happening? Here we are sending signal, it is reaching the ending position. Without loss of energy, due to that only when we are speaking in the cell phone or anywhere, clear signal getting. Why? It is no loss of energy plus. There is no loss of energy plus strength of the signal. That is happening. So this we are using. Optical weapons we are using in the main communication system. Lab or microscope also we are using to send light inside the stomach when doing operations like that things. In a Medical equipment and so we are using optical So this is totally about uh, refraction at a plane surfaces.